Welcome to the Managing Drought in the Southern Plains webinar series. I'm Margaret Boone, Program Manager of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program, with your briefing for Thursday, June 4th, 2015. This information is brought to you by the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program in association with NOAA, NIDAS, and the National Drought Mitigation Center. So what's new? It's amazing what a month of heavy rain can do. Drought has been eliminated for much of Oklahoma and Texas with just a small area of D1 drought still persisting in the Texas Panhandle. The heavy rains were record-breaking as both Texas and Oklahoma set records for the wettest May on record. Likewise, many reservoirs in the region have seen dramatic rises um, in levels, some of which also broke records. Drought, however, still persists across the western United States. This is the newest drought monitor released Thursday, June 4th. Extreme and exceptional drought persists across the western United States. As I mentioned previously, heavy rains have all but eliminated drought completely from the southern plains with the small area of D1, which still remains in the Texas Panhandle. As we look closer at the drought monitor, the high, in the high plains, heavy rains also there have helped improve drought conditions across the region. Across the southern plains, again, we can see the small area of D1 drought in the Texas Panhandle and a few pockets of D0, which is considered abnormally dry conditions elsewhere. Across the west, extreme and exceptional drought continues um, in that region. Rainfall departures over the last 14 days show the vast amount of heavy rain that fell across portions of the southern plains. The last 60 days shows the wet spring as a whole uh, um, over the last two months also across the southern plains in South, Te South Texas over the last six months and over the water year to date. Because the spring rains have been record setting and we've had so much heavy rain, the percent of normal rainfall is still showing as high over the last six months and the water year. To highlight the heavy rainfall across the southern plains, this is the 60-day rainfall amount in inches from the Oklahoma Mesonet. Every mesonet station in Oklahoma has seen at least 7 inches of rainfall over the past 60 days. The lowest amount, 7.5 inches, is in the Oklahoma Panhandle, and the highest is 33.2 inches in southeast Oklahoma. This record-setting rainfall has not only broken the record for the wettest May on record, it has also broken the wettest month of any month on record for Oklahoma City. Good news is that many reservoirs have been recharged with all these rains. The bad news is many of these reservoirs are also in their flood pool, and serious flooding has been a real concern across both Oklahoma and Texas. So this is a screenshot from our SKIP reservoir tool, which will be available soon on our SKIP website. The reservoir shown is Lake Arrowhead, which is near Wichita Falls. The graph in the middle shows the reservoir level over uh, the month of May. You can see the reservoir levels rise quite dramatically over the last 30 days, going into the flood pool by the end of the month. This has been consistent for most reservoirs across northern Texas and Oklahoma. Lake Texoma in southern Oklahoma, north Texas, reached its all-time record high level at the end of May, beating the record set back in 1990. Many Oklahoma and Texas reservoirs have had to open their floodgates, uh, releasing thousands of cubic feet per second of water. And there are some great uh, videos if you happen to go and look um, at the Army Corps of Engineers, especially the Tulsa District and the Little Rock District have both posted some great pictures and videos online um, of these uh, water releases going on at the various reservoirs. Looking ahead, the five-day outlook shows heavy rainfall possible across the central and northern plains as high pressure remains across the southern plains, allowing us to dry out a little bit. Temperatures across the southern plains and the Pacific Northwest are expected to be above normal. The 6-10 to 10 day outlooks, which are valid Tuesday, June 9th through Saturday, June 13th, indicate above normal temperatures are expected across the eastern United States, the western United States, and the high plains with near normal temperatures expected across the southern plains. Above normal precipitation is possible across much of the United States with drier than normal conditions expected across portions of Texas and the northern tier of states. The Climate Prediction Center's three-month outlooks were updated May 21st and they reflect the months of June, July, and August. Above normal temperatures are expected to continue across the west coast and Alaska 
along with parts of Florida and the Carolinas, with below normal temperatures possible across portions of the southern plains. Equal chances of above or below normal temperatures are expected elsewhere. Above normal precipitation is expected across the Intermountain West and into the southwest and southeast through the southern plains, with a small area below normal precipitation possible in the Pacific Northwest. Equal chances of above or below normal precipitation is expected elsewhere. The monthly drought outlook was issued May 31st and valid for the month of June. Drought persistence is expected across the majority of the drought-stricken areas of the western United States. The few areas of abnormally dry conditions um, across the southern plains in Oklahoma and Texas are expected to improve. As always, please join us for these briefings and full topic webinars, though they may become less frequent right now as drought conditions have improved across our region. For more information, you can visit our SCIP website, southernclimate.org, to register for more information if you haven't already. These briefings will be posted to the SCIP YouTube channel as well as our SCIP website. Please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at skip underscore for more information. We thank you for joining us and have a great week.